I think the entire year almost has been a highlight. I have pretty much loved every minute of it. I can't really encapsulate how amazing it has been. When I first started, instantly I felt the warmth of both the staff and the pupils. The Sherbourne community is phenomenal and I don't think anything like it exists anywhere else. We've been very lucky within the community to have things like TEDx launched this year from Sherbourne Girls. What a wonderful opportunity for all of the local schools to work together. This year has seen the opening of the Merit Centre, a fantastic resource, not just for the current generation, but also for future generations of Sherbourne Girls. You've got to come in here. It is amazing. This is Sherbourne Girls Community. This isn't just an arts building, this is going to be the centre of Sherbourne Girls. This is going to be their heart. I'm very proud of the way that the co-curricular programme has developed so that there really is something for every girl in the school. Ranging from the debating matters, we decided to host it here and then we won it. With girls and boys, we did Evita, which was an extraordinary performance. And then our hockey have done the best they've ever done, and they've got through to the national final. My theme for the year was health and well-being, and that was for pupils as well as staff. And really what we're trying to say is that absolutely academic fulfilment is really, really important to us, but we need to ensure that the girls balance that with co-curricular opportunities, with time to actually step away from the classroom, step away from studying, and perhaps give it a go at things like kayaking, perhaps cycling, climbing. So we're also adding to our co-curricular opportunities so that the girls learn to balance those things, not only for time at school, but also so that they learn those skills for later life. Seeing the girls on the first day back in September, moving into the sixth form is always a real celebration. The girls seem to approach everything in a completely different way. They're studying the subjects that they've chosen to study and they're coming in with a real keen interest to develop those areas with a thirst for learning. I'm going to really miss the structure of school and the support that you get. But it's going to be sad, I'm going to miss so many of the teachers and everything. It's going to be really scary when we get out, but I think we're all ready. I really do. Sherwin Girls taught me all of the skills I needed, actually learning to focus on my work, which I never knew before. And the support that they've given me has really made me realise how important education is. I've made definite friends for life. I've got a love for things like music and sport, which I think I wouldn't have got had I not had the opportunities here. I have been able to go as far as I possibly can academically with the help of the amazing staff here, and I'm so grateful for that. I want them to be confident young women. They are all incredible young ladies. I want them to really focus on all the opportunities they've been given, everything they've learned and all the skills that they have so they can take that with them for life beyond school. And remember that just because they've left here, they haven't actually ever left. We're always here. If they ever want advice or guidance, we welcome them back at any time at all.